Assalamu alaikum. Today I will be talking about how the Prophet received the revelation by Amara Yunus. Introduction. This presentation is about delving into how the Prophet, peace be upon him, received the revelation, how the Quran was transmitted and how it was recorded. It was researched using authentic sources and texts directly from the Quran and Hadith. By the end of this presentation, one will be able to gain an insight in understanding the, Quran, the revelation of the Quran. Allah sent the revelation down in numerous different methods, such as ringing bell, dreams, words, speech, and inspiration. One of the many reasons why the Quran wasn't sent in one go is because it was hard for the Prophet. His wife Aisha said, I saw the messenger of Allah while the revelation was descending upon him on an extremely cold day. Then it ceased and his forehead was flooded with sweat. The Prophet received the revelation in a number of ways, all of which were sent in a random order. Allah didn't send them down in certain orders, but Allah sent the angel Jibreel down just before the Prophet died to help him put the Quran in order. How was the Quran transmitted? As Allah slowly, as Allah was slowly sending the revelations down, the Prophet memorized each one that came. He next told his companions, who also memorized it. The Prophet's companions, who had memorized what the Prophet told them, went on to tell more people, and that's how the Quran was slowly memorized. The entire Quran was memorized during the lifetime of the Prophet. Throughout this process, the Prophet was encouraging people by saying, "The best of you is he who learns the Quran and teaches it." How was the Quran recorded? The Quran was recorded on palm leaves, wood, flat stones, and dried animal skins. Conclusion. We come to know the methods in which the Quran descended and how it was recorded on various materials. We further understand the importance of reading and teaching the Quran. Assalamu alaikum.